Hello, we are Cliff and Staff. This episode we deal with a lot of car issues, uh, such as uh, dead batteries, and we talk about other cars and tires and other types of things. Well, this ain't good. I just got a meeting here in about 20 minutes, and my battery is dead. Uh, it, uh, we had a little problem with it last night, just momentarily. And, but today we got a big problem, so let's check it out. So we got the hood up on the engine compartment, and uh, let's take a look at this. It never did snap in there right over the years. That snapping in business it fails. So the batteries look good. The battery posts look good. <clears throat> now I think what I'm going to do is go. See if I can't charm my neighbor into uh, giving me a, a jump start. So let's see how that works. Well, we're on our way. I, I went and got the neighbor and asked him for a jump on my car, which he uh, gave me a jump. And, uh, so I'm glad he gave me a jump. I didn't think I'm going to be too late, maybe 10 or 15 minutes late for my appointment. But after I parked the car, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get it started again until I can get it to mechanic and figure out what's going on. So we're done with the meeting and uh, I ran into Clark. There's his truck over there. He's gonna help me figure this out. So let's take uh, what, what was your reading? Mine was 1274. Okay. What do you got? Your battery's pretty low, 12.2. Uh, I wonder if we need to get some water in there. Water? I, I haven't checked the battery with water for ever. Isn't this a sealed battery? Was that a sealed battery? I didn't, I Most don't even know. Most of the new ones are sealed, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh... This looks like caps to me, but they're not. They huh? do look caps, but sometimes they make them look like that. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. So we've been to the here, store and I'll back. I'll take this off here. And uh, uh, that's our new battery. And uh, this is our old battery that's coming out now. We're we'll, well, we'll taking it out. Let me see if I can get probably, probably 9 sixteenths instead of a half an inch. But we'll try yeah. 9 sixteenths. With this first. bolt right here? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. Now we took the old one out, now we're working with uh, the new battery to put it in. And we've got a five year warranty on this baby. <clears throat> Hope it goes out for about four and a half years and I get a new battery. That would work for me. That's about the time, that's about the amount of time that the other battery lasted. So. We'll see what happens. 12.46. Okay, okay, you can start her up. Yep, I want to see right. what, what a load does to it. What's it looking like now? Go ahead and rev it once. All right. Okay. Okay, so the new battery is in, and I uh, we did some tests to make sure that everything was working right. So I am returning the core to the parts store. Here, I'll show you. There you go, auto's on. While I'm at it, I'm going to have them take a look at a modular, uh, excuse the finger. Um, it's not, I, I can't think of the name of it. And then I just read it too, so anyway, here goes. So here we are next to the battery. And uh, this, this, these three uh, thingy-doos, Wait a minute. 
They're called. Um, Oh, uh, I can't read it. Anyway, I'm going to take this one in and see what it costs to replace it. There's that. So the deal with the modules, which are not modules, they're relays. That's what they call it on the little cover that covered them up. I went and bought one of those relays and it didn't work. So I don't think that's the problem. So anyway, back to square one. I'll have to evaluate this from a different angle. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it, it's the cooling fan in position one and two that is not working. And when you read the cover to those relay switches, it does say cooling fan position one and two. So um, back to the drawing board with that. But we did get a new battery. Well, good morning. I'm on a walk again this morning. I bring my selfie stick with me. So, uh, had a little incident with the batteries in the car. And uh, it's kind of a rude awakening when you go to start the car and it don't start. Of course, it did give me some warning signs earlier where I had a hard time starting. So, anyway, we climbed that mountain. But, it was nice to have some friends with some tools. All my tools are back in Washington State. So I'd like to have my tools back with me, but most of the time, at least this winter anyway, I wouldn't have felt good enough to do anything with the tool anyway. But you know, that, that's all changing. I'm feeling pretty good now, except for trying to Trying to breathe it used to be a little bit of a problem. So maybe I just need to exercise more. I don't know. Don't feel like exercising much at all. So first we can't go by our feelings. Kinda gotta do what's necessary and what's right regardless of how we feel about it. So, it's a beautiful day. It's gorgeous. Yeah, let me, I'll show you a little bit here. Let me get up around this corner. The sun's just peeking up over the, the hill and uh, makes for an interesting lighting effect on some mountains here. So, let me show you. So that's pretty much in the shadows is because of the sun is behind it. Those mountains are really dark. But when you get over to where the sun is shining on the mountains, you can see the contrast of the light and the dark and uh, making for some really pretty, pretty viewing. That mountain right, that top, that top peak there used to have a lot of snow on it. Let's see if I can get zoom in here a little bit. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, there you go. That's as far as she'll go right there. And it's going to be summertime here pretty soon. It'll be nice and hot. Here, I'll just go ahead and give you a 360. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, talking about the car, I got position one and position two on the cooling fan there on the car. Uh, it's not working. So I got to scope that out and uh, figure out what's wrong with that and uh, hopefully I can do that without incurring a lot of mechanical expenses or expenses for a mechanic and uh, we'll have to chase that down get on YouTube and look at a video that's what we'll do also the serpentine belt is starting to squeak pretty bad 
So it's time to change that. And there goes another 150 bucks. For 200. So, uh, right now there's a lot of car issues in my life. And that's all right. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have car issues than a lot of other kind of issues. I'll tell you that right now. That's right. <clears throat> Plus, we still haven't done anything with Stephanie's car, that little uh, Suzuki. It's not a little Suzuki, it's actually a full size car. It's a nice car. So, and even the golf cart. I fixed one thing and something else is going bad on it. We have uh, four flat, well, two flat tires. And it's just because it's uh, old, the tires are old. And uh, you can see the sidewalls are cracked. So, yeah, this next month we'll buy a set of tires and put on there. That seems to be, and then I gotta figure out what to do with the spare tires. Because now I have five, five tires, more stuff to fill the storage shed full of stuff. I gotta get rid of some of that stuff. We got too much stuff. Things we're not using. All a lot of the things we hauled down from Washington left everything that I really needed. And <clears throat> excuse me brought down a whole lot of stuff that I really don't need. Uh, it's kind of, some kind of, it's really hard to plan if you don't know what you're getting into. But we're surviving. We're having fun. It's a good life. And I walked all the way up the corner and back. And I still feel like walking. So I'm not going to get too far away from the house in case I get in a little trouble. I'm going to go ahead and walk a little further. Here, I'll turn the camera around here a little bit. Sure. I think I've showed this to you a thousand times. But a thousand times it keeps looking good. So hold on. There you go. That is pretty sight. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah. That snow is pretty much gone up there. And up there, on the third highest peak to the left, and that's where the tram, the tram is. That's where the, uh, the building and the museum and where the videos and the restaurant, everything is up there. So, yeah, got you about fifty dollars a person to make a round trip on that. Thirty-five dollars for a ticket. And then if you want to buy anything, and then gas up there and back. So once in a while, it's, it's kind of fun. It's worth it. Yeah, we're back inside the house. Uh, sun came out, and I wasn't wearing my sunglasses, so I decided that uh, I was uh, not wanting to walk around with the sun in my eyes. So I think I could have walked quite a bit further. So maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll, uh, I'll go further and see what happens and uh, I, I haven't been exercising nearly enough and that's kind of that's kind of important um, when you're trying to stay healthy um, the best the best diet in the world and very little exercise is a whole lot worse than a very terrible diet in lots of exercise so exercise is kind of the critical part so I'll do that again turned out pretty good today and uh, maybe I'll take my shades with me next time <laughs> yeah well thank you all for watching and I hope I didn't bore you too much with my ramblings <laughs>